just want to say after the Hardys, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to read. <laughs> My allergies are bothering me badly. But anyways, and unfortunately, Mark was not able to attend, but he has asked our family to come and attend for him and say a few words on his behalf. I will begin by thanking Pat Darcy, Greg Hansen, and the committee for voting him in. To be selected for the Pima County Sports Hall of Fame Class of 2018, and to be the amongst the members of the past is truly amazing. It's a tremendous honor for him, so thank you. So, from Mark, so many sacrifices were made from a lot of people who made this journey a success. I have not lived in the Old Pueblo in over 10 years, but family and close friends are still in the community and I will always regard Tucson as my home. Thanks to my dad, this is where it all started. Being the son of a major league baseball player certainly has its advantages. I learned how to play the right way the first time. My dad taught me the basic concepts, fun fundamentals, and the sportsmanship of the game. The mental concept came later and he was a huge influence for that as well. I'm very proud that my dad and I were the 13th second generation father-son team in Major League Baseball, and I chose to wear the number 45 in memory of my dad. During the spring training for the Cleveland Indians in Tucson, as a kid I was able to meet some of the coaches and players. Some even came to our house to eat, drink, and talk about baseball. I remember Pat Corrales and Doc Edwards coming to the house for dinner during spring training shaking hands with the first African-American MLB manager, Hot Frank Robinson. Boo Powell, eating jalapeno peppers like pickles at a barbecue. <laughs> These were the men that impacted and inspired me and my youth. Their baseball stories were and are the heartbeat of the game. I was one of the lucky ones who knew at an early age what I wanted to be. I wanted to become a baseball player like my dad. I had good coaches along the way throughout organized leagues in high school. I'll never forget the time coach Jerry Kendall and the University of Arizona staff came to our house to recruit me. They were fresh off a national championship in 1980. Coach Kendall was sitting in our living room discussing my future as a wildcat. My mom and dad were happy and proud. It was, it's a day I'll never forget. It would have been an honor and a privilege to play for Coach Kendall but I never had the chance to play because I decided to turn pro. But I am thankful for Coach Kendall for believing in me. To the sports writers, for years I enjoyed reading their articles. Greg Hansen in the Arizona Star and Corky Simpson in the Citizen. My family would reach out to me whenever Greg would mention me in the Sunday Notebook. Thank you both for the excellent reporting to my family and I. I grew up in a very competitive baseball family just as soon as we were old enough, mom and dad signed us up for organized ball. We played with Cactus Little League. It doesn't happen often, but every now and again, and again, you get a wave of talent. This was the case for Cactus Little League in the early 70s. My dad, Mr. Canoza, Mr. Lamick, DeVolk Brothers, and many, many more gave their time and effort to help develop and teach young players from our neighborhood. Thank you all very much. Most people can remember the 1973 Cactus Little League team that represented America in the World Little League Series. I'll never forget the crowd and excitement of those games. Led by Coach Lanick and Coach Unger, this team was solid, top to bottom. I did not participate on that team, but I did make the All-Star team in 1974. We started off to a really good start, winning the district and state, and went back to San Bernardino for the Western regional tournament. We lost in the semifinals to San, San Rai, California, who was led by a pitcher named Darnell Coles, who would later have a successful career in the MLB. It was a very memorable experience. Our team was stacked that year and later produced three major league ball players, Eddie Vosberg, Tom Pagnazzi, and myself. Great times were had by all. So these are my words now. So just to share a few things about my brother, as we were growing up, he would sit outside hitting rocks with a little, one of those little miniature bats for hours, and I mean hours, and the hot weather didn't seem to bother him. Little did Mark know, it was those times he began learning how to place his hits and develop his hand-eye coordination skills. 
Being a professional athlete, you must be strong mentally and physically. There's no room for fear. Mark was never afraid of challengers. It was all or nothing with him, and it still is. He ran, jumped, dove, and did whatever he needed to do to make the play, and his natural skills made him look easy. Thank you to all that have helped him along the way, beginning as a young kid and as he grew into an adult. We are very proud of him and his accomplishments, and our family appreciates all of this, and we're honored to be here today. Thank you.